morning guys we are quickly about to head out quickly about to head out that's not a very good sentence is it i'm off to go to bar like i usually do on a saturday but i say we are about to head out because uh, it is just delilah and i it's hard to explain this when you guys don't know what doug does if you want to know what doug does go over to his instagram you'll find him on my instagram and he's done a little highlight where he explains briefly what he does for a living on a project that he's on at the moment because he does the same job but he goes to different projects and he's done stuff like help build the new american embassy put up the whale in the national history museum and he basically hangs on ropes and goes up really high on things this job is now require, requiring him to not just work later in the days he's starting doing saturday shifts as well because they um because it's just such a big job so i'm trying to make sure i've got everything so we really need to head out the door yeah it's such a big job that they need to start working um saturdays and i knew that and i knew that he was going to start saturday soon for a couple of months this year i didn't know it was going to be starting this saturday until last night because i was telling doug how my bar class is an hour early today because the teacher needs the class to be at nine and not ten he went uh you do realize i start saturdays i was like no you didn't really make that clear so <laughs> doug's at work today luckily doug's mum is free to take delilah off my hands delilah and i are going to go into town now She's going to meet me where I have my class. She's going to take Delilah to the park for a little bit. And then um, today will be sort of a normal mummy and Delilah day today. Because, um, yeah, dog won't be here. So, um, anyway, we need to go. Finally, the sun's come out for the first time in about a week. Oh, it's such a nice morning. Blue skies. You can hear the birds singing. It's lovely. <laughs> This sun is making me so happy. Um, class is finished, and I'm gonna run into Pret and grab some lunch because I haven't got anything at home. My favourite thing to have, especially after a workout, is the Avo Super Green Veggie Pot teamed with the salmon sushi box. I need to call Doug's mum and see where her and Delilah are. Hello, just seeing where you are. Just grabbing a few bits in Mark, as usual. Got home just as Delilah and Doug's mum were getting home from the park. Delilah had a lovely time. She saw lots of ducks and played with, played with lots of sticks. Shopping wise, I bought, um, I bought a lot of fruit because it was on offer and we love berries, strawberries, blueberries, raspberries in this house. So I got that. And for dinner I picked up some mint, some basil um, and some spinach because I thought it would be quite nice to do a... Oh, you managed to get your coat off. Good girl. Thank you. I thought it'd be quite nice to do a green pesto. I don't know why I always try and balance you on the most awkward thing, which is Delilah's teddy pull-along thingy. Hi, gorgeous. Oh, battery's running out. Oh, let's change the battery. There we go. Um, battery changed. You're oh, gorgeous. You look so cute in this. This is from... Um, this is from Bowden and she doesn't wear these as much because she normally if she wears trousers um, or leggings she just wears a normal t-shirt but if she wears dungarees then it's quite nice to have items that look like t-shirts but bodies that pop do pop her up underneath her bottom um, so that they're not rising up and getting all uncomfortable for her. I got her these a while ago. I don't know if Bowden will still have them, but I'll try and link a link an equivalent. They always do this style but every season they change the the print this one's got bunnies and ducks on she's all muddy so i took her clothes off and now she's just wandering around in these i don't really know why i've started vlogging i just felt like having a natter had a quick coffee with doug's mum and had a catch-up and uh, she's gone off now to go about her day i'll do lunch in a little bit for delilah and then pop her down for a nap and i can get some work done and yeah the usual stuff i've texted my mum to say she can come around earlier today because um doug's working so we're gonna be just at home but we'll see i don't i don't know if she'll be able to come earlier got my coffee in one of my oldest mugs this is my original 
our mug from anthropology that i got in my first flat i don't know why i haven't drunk out of this for a while but um yeah this is very old school anthropology they have updated initial mugs but they don't have these ones anymore i think they've got ones like these but they've got gold handles again i can link them if you're interested i know it sounds really silly but i get asked about stuff like where my mugs from and what my nail polish color is and stuff like that on a regular basis so it's just really it's just much easier for me to say look in the description bit of an odd saturday because obviously we're used to going out and doing family stuff it's been a nice day so far i enjoyed my class i'm not gonna lie i'm gonna stay in my um workout stuff because i didn't although it was really hard like my i look at my fitbit and my heart rate is about 160 which is more than it ever, ever gets doing a PT session and that my heart rate gets um, only a little bit more than that when I do a spin class so anyone who thinks bar class is easy and it's not even that like you, you're not even doing like stuff that feels like pumpy and cardio-esque it is just you're really you're just working your body so hard um, that it just makes your heart rate go up a lot um it's really good i really recommend it i don't feel all icky and sweaty and i don't smell or anything so i might sort of just stay comfortable in my workout gear um sorry guys i know i'm rambling but um apart from needing to work when delilah goes down for a nap it's gonna be a very chilled day i'm in a good mood sun shining and like i said a zillion times i just felt like chatting even though i don't really have much to say ah! <laughs> you said new favorite thing to do she thinks it's hilarious <laughs> Where's Lila gone? Delilah, what are you doing? It's hot nap time yet, my lovely. We've got to have lunch. For lunch, Delilah's got a kale, tomato and bean soup which i'm just letting cool down by the window here she's going to have it with a bit of cheese scone because she absolutely loves cheese scones oh dear delilah's having her lunch after she took a bit of a tumble unfortunately i got it on camera that footage is gonna haunt me now i was just clearing some stuff up off the bed putting some clean washing away and Lila always likes to go on the bed and she's really good at not chucking herself off but the last couple of days uh, what's the word like not very cautious she she's she's at i think she's reached an age where she just she's gotten a bit confident she now just like launches herself off everything she's tried to jump off the sofa face first having to be like really wary of her and today she's managed to fall off the bed twice and usually i'm still very sort of making sure you know just in case i sort of try and like make make sure i'm hovering around her a bit i looked away for two seconds while she was on the bed she's normally just fine i thought she was just gonna sit there but i think she went to fling herself back like she does because she thinks it's funny but usually she doesn't do it around the end of the bed and i just went to go put the camera down and i don't know what she did it went like kind of slow-mo but really fast at the same time and she kind of like flipped back and did like this almighty flip and then off the bed and i think she knocked her head i've never known her to cry like that you know when something hurts so bad that you can't get the cry out and she paused for so long when i grabbed her and i was like oh just breathe just breathe then she just screamed and oh, it was just horrible she's fine after having some cuddles and some milk on the sofa <laughs> gonna finish her lunch and then um, go down for a nap and i can get some work done gave myself 20 minutes to have my lunch watch a couple of youtube videos and then i've gotten into editing but i'm nowhere near done and i want to get this video up tonight i've still got an hour and 41 minutes of footage to edit and she's just woken up hi gorgeous gussie hello you guys didn't see that on camera but i picked her up and she gave me a kiss on the lips straight away can i have another kiss no. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Really want to wait until my mum gets here to have a coffee. Well, a decaf because I've already had two normal coffees today. But um, I need a little pick me up. Don't press the button for me. Oh. 
Oh, that's a lovely angle. I've just started vlogging that. As you can guess, it's been a few hours later. <laughs> Delilah's just in the bath. Doug made it home. Well, actually, no, Doug got home about the same time as he did yesterday. But um, Delilah's dinner ended up being later because me and my mum were chatting. Perfect timing, Doug being home in time for bath time tonight because that means I can get tonight's dinner sorted. I'm just going to, I don't know why I'm, I don't know why I'm telling you guys this. I could have just skipped to me making dinner, but I just need to get everything sorted. I need Delilah's muslin and I need her water. I'm gonna pop it here so it's ready to go and then I can get started with dinner. Because I'm making pesto, I can just make the pesto and then put pasta on once she's in bed. Here we go, bottle of muslin. I am roughly going off of this Jamie Oliver recipe that um, I made quite a while ago when I got this issue of the magazine. I'm just going to basically make this one. I've made one with like spinach and kale and you can actually put whatever you want into pestos. Even put um, some nutritional yeast in there. In here I have some broad beans that were just laying in the back of our freezer. As you can see they have seen better days. <laughs> Didn't have enough broad beans for this recipe so I've also added some petit pois and then we've got the stalks of the mint and a clove of garlic and I'm just gonna add some boiling water for a couple of minutes and that will just soften everything and sort of semi cook them. Need lemon juice most of the mint leaves. When I make things like this where the olive oil is not going to get cooked, I like to use really high quality olive oil. And this is an organic Greek extra virgin olive oil. I picked this up in Sainsbury's. The broad beans are probably done. There's a load of washing up waiting to go in the dishwasher. And just remove the stalks and pop them in the food processor. I can't believe I didn't get a food processor sooner um i got this a couple of christmases ago and if you like cooking it is so worth investing in a good food processor drizzle this isn't really a classic pesto recipe and um, classic pesto is mainly pine nuts olive oil lemon and basil very expensive way of doing it yourself at home yeah, there's so many different ways of doing pesto recipes um, but if you want to make a classic one but you don't want to spend a ton of money on a tiny pack of pine nuts and basil there's lots of different ways you can do it but in more of a classic style and using up things like broccoli and spinach that's just laying around in your fridge with um say walnuts and slightly cheaper nuts is a nice way to make pesto let's blend this up Dinner's almost done and I am really looking forward to it. I'm hungry but I also, I'm just like really in the mood for a big bowl of pasta, for the fresh homemade pesto. I just, mm, mm. Got about five more minutes for the pasta to cook. I've just used whole wheat spaghetti and I've added some more petit pois. Got some crunchy whole peas. I'm just gonna add a little bit of this pasta water to the pesto to loosen it up a bit. I've added tomatoes to mine because I thought they'd go quite nice and I fancied them but I haven't added them to dogs because he doesn't like tomatoes. Don't mind if I do. I almost went to bed without saying goodnight and ending today's video. I've been so used to putting two or three days together that I assumed I would put tomorrow's vlog with today's vlog. But I'm not sure. I can't think what the date is. Today is it the 14th? If the title says it's Feeder Day 14 and that's it and the vlog ends here then um, I guess I've just done today as a single vlog but I feel like not much has happened today. But if I realised I was going to do a single day vlog I might have filmed more. I don't know. I guess we will know once this is uploaded. If I keep this as a single 
vlog then i'll see you tomorrow oh and before i go this is the stuff that i popped in my hair last night this is the bumble and bumble surf spray i got this last summer and um i used it a little bit then but it was only really last night that i used it that i've really liked it all week my hair has been not curling very well sorry i'm whispering because delilah's really a couple of days I didn't plait it before I went to bed, but on the, even on the days where I plaited it and wetted it a little bit, it wasn't staying wavy and I couldn't figure it out. And then I realised that because I was trying to use the end of my conditioner, I just used a lot more than usual. And that's probably why my hair was so fluffy and soft that it wouldn't keep any wave, like not even like a little bit like this. And so last night when I plaited my hair, I did the usual. I got it a little bit wet with my fingers, plaited it, but they also sprayed this stuff on it and it's given it a little bit of texture and yeah it seems to have done the trick i really like this and it doesn't dry my hair out it just gives it texture without it feeling yucky and without it feeling crispy or dry which i feel like most sea salt sprays do so i'll link it in the description if you want to try it out anyway <laughs> so i'm gonna plait my hair pop some of this on again take my makeup off and go to bed i'll see you guys on the next video Bye. Bye.